Adam Kozlowiecki. Yes, uh, I knew him the time I was at Chingombe. Hmm. I was in Chingombe from 1962 to 1969. So he used to come on his pastoral work. About 1962. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but is, it was on the outstation or in the mission? Or? Mission. Chingombe mission. Mm -hmm. I was working actually, I was working as a manager of schools, managing the various schools. Mm -hmm. So my center was Chingombe. Okay. I was coming from Chingombe, Tumbosha, Mwape, Liteta, Chembe, Chimika. So you had a lot to talk about mm -hmm. with Father Kada because when he came in uh, '46, he also became a manager of schools. Mm -hmm. So w what was your relation to him? Our relationship was he, he, he was he, he was the um, the archbishop for our archdiocese. Yes. So Chingombe was under him, all the schools were under the Adidauses. What was Father Adam Kozowiecki like? Ah, he was a very energetic man. How come? Why do you say so? I say so because from his appearance and from what he was doing. What he was doing? Uh, it's very difficult for a person to go around the valley because yes. it's very hot. I remember um, some of the government officials. And I remember in my time, none of the government officers ever went around the valley schools. Oh, really? They feared distance, <coughs> mountains. They feared sesame fly. They feared it's very hot. I see. And what about uh, Adam, Father Adam? Well, he did it. He did it. So he was no fear? No. I see. And do you remember if he was, uh, he liked uh, meeting with people, with children, how, what was he doing with uh, them when he met them? Uh, I can't comment on that because uh, he had a different program. When he was going around, I was not going with him. I see. Mm. But you met him in the mission. Do you remember any of his hobbies or what was your and his main problem at that time? With, uh, people and in your work? In your work. I don't remember any problem with him. Okay, yes. But uh, you had your challenges. What was main challenge for you at that time? Um, going around the schools it was not easy because it was on foot and on a bicycle. Mm. I see. Okay. Uh, yes, please. It was Reverend uh, Adam who gave me this miss when I was at Chingombe in 1967. I see. So he was bishop at that time? Yes. How did it happen? He was visiting B Chingombe? Or? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was uh, under his duration. Again, please? That was under his care, under his duration. I see. And uh, wh what's inside? The missile. They miss you. Can you open it? <laughs> so how long you you keep it? It's Since 1967. He gave me 1967 August. And uh, you remember that moment when he gave it to you? Yes, August, 20, August 1967. But you remember the, the moment it was just like, uh, you know, 
And it was any occasion or, or why? Did as a friend, he gave it to me as a friend. I see. Okay. And then a sort of appreciation for taking care of the schools in the valley. Did he write something inside? No. I, miss I just wrote that he was given this by Archbishop Adam. May we film it? Did you like Father Adam? Yes, very much. And I remember when he, he was a, a chaplain at St. Paul, I was always, on Thursdays, I was always going to him to help him in answering some inquiries. Oh, really? Was it a, How much work was... It was only days we work. Thursday, the next Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. So uh, you 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 addressed the letters or what did you do? Uh, mostly I was uh, engaged in uh, marriage inquiries, baptism inquiries. And what did you, how involved, how, what did you do, what did you write? He gave me some letters, then I went to the baptism register. I found what they wanted, then I gave him to sign. Ah, I see, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Stanislav. It was a pleasure to meet you.